What is going on guys, Mobile Care News here. And in this video, this is a network update at the beach. As you can see, I took this screenshot. I was basically at the beach and I was doing some speed tests until 5G Ultra Wideband popped up. As you can see here, this is where, this is where I was at the beach. And surprisingly, 5G Ultra Wideband is, not, is surprisingly not good at the moment. As you can see, it literally has no data on download and upload, as you can see right here. There's nothing, but the good news is we, because Verizon knows that that 4th of July is coming and that in my area, only 50% is the, or literally has 5G slash 5G ultra wideband. They know that it's coming and it's going to be jam packed. Like big bar are, are people who have Verizon and I'm pretty sure Verizon has a lot of people on their network, especially in my area in the Orange County area of California, which is SoCal. A lot of people use their network and Verizon knows that if people don't aren't satisfied on the fourth, if they can't send snaps, it's like Snapchat, if they can't upload videos, if they can't um, use TikTok, uh, send emails, I'm not sure people send emails on, on the fourth of July or do use anything that requires Verizon's 5G network, then Verizon Verizon knows that they're gonna lose a lot of customers at T Mobile because there's a there's a few T Mobile stores in my area, but they're very they're not close to Verizon, but they know, but to Verizon knows that T-Mobile is literally across the street. That's just an example. And they can go to T-Mobile anytime they want. And that's what Verizon doesn't want. They want people to stay on the network so they can, so they can just have more customers. And right now, I'm hearing they might lose more customers in Q2, which is not a good thing. As you can see, this is another screenshot I took. I tried doing a speed test, but as you can see, I was having trouble finding Verizon as the provider. But this is basically the screenshot I took. And so far, it looks like they barely turned it on. I'm going to guess this was, they probably turned it on maybe a day or two ago. And it's not working that good. I, I could barely up, I could barely uh, um, upload music to listen to. And it took like maybe five minutes to, to come up. So this is something Verizon definitely needs to improve. Um, I am, my guess is they have to, they have to at least, they have to at least at least hit one gigabyte download and maybe two to four hundred upload. That's just what I think Verizon needs to do in this situation because it's gonna be it's gonna be at the beach. It's gonna be jam packed, and worst comes to worst, Verizon might might have to honestly throw in two two gigabyte download speed because the the beach is gonna be jam packed. I can already feel it's just gonna be popping on the fourth. And the upload it has to be maybe even almost a gigabyte, like maybe even 700 mega, uh, megabytes per second upload. That's just my guess of what Verizon needs to do. Yeah, they just turned it on. I got one bar signal of 5G Ultra Wideband. Um, I was going to do an LTE, LTE speed test, but I decided not to because one, it's probably not going to work. And two, because it doesn't really work in the area I was in, which was here. And B, um, I really think they should just focus on... I mean, they should focus on 5G ultra wideband or just 5G in general because maybe some people use LTE on Verizon's devices, like at the beach here. But I don't. But I think people more use 5G because 5G is technically faster than LTE. LTE is over 10 years old, and people are moving on to the next generation. So I think Verizon definitely needs to improve this um, this kind of situation here because um, let's see, the fourth is coming very very soon. And they have only a few days to upgrade this, guys. And Verizon cannot keep this like this. They have to ramp this up as soon as possible because the fourth is coming. It is coming and it's going to go by fast. So hopefully they can at least get like maybe one to two gigabytes of download, maybe seven to eight hundred megabytes of upload. I just that's just my own personal reference on that, on what Verizon needs to do, because a lot of people are going to be on Verizon's network that day. And... Verizon doesn't want to lose customers. I'm pretty sure they don't want to lose anybody in general for this kind of situation. Let me know what you guys think about this. These are the screenshots. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.